Meanwhile, both President Biden and former President Trump will make visits to Texas border towns today. The White House says President Biden will meet with Border Patrol agents and local officials in Brownsville, Texas, to discuss the need for bipartisan border reform legislation. And about 330 miles away in Eagle Pass, Texas, Trump is scheduled to give remarks of his own. Joining us now, the independent mayor of San Antonio, Ron Nirenberg. He will meet with President Biden today during that trip to Texas. Mr. Mayor, we appreciate your time today. Before we get into some of the details of policy that's been proposed, that legislation in the Senate, uh, just a clear-eyed view from you as the mayor of San Antonio about the crisis, the problem at the border as you see it. How bad is it? How is it impacting your city? Well, I would characterize this more as a political crisis than an immigration crisis, really, because, uh, you know, there's 114 million displaced people all across the, all across the world. We are seeing cer certainly a surge of migrants at the southern border. We have for years under multiple administrations here in San Antonio. Uh, we're 150 some odd miles from the border. So we've had 600,000 migrants through our community since January of 2023. But we've seen these things uh, under Trump. We've seen them under Biden. We've seen them in administrations far beyond that. What is different here is a level, a level of demagoguery that's being played out by extreme MAGA Republicans at the behest of Trump. You know, the hallmark of the Trump administration and immigration policies was the separation of families at the border, something that the overwhelming majority of Americans oppose. He did not, could not, would not do what President Biden has done, which is reach across the aisle, work with a good faith group of bipartisan senators, and come up with solutions to the issues at hand. Uh, and so we are going to be meeting with the president. The president will be meeting with a number of folks, including those border agencies who are starving for the resources that the Republicans in the in House will, will not give them in order to deal with this issue. And we're going to advocate for that bipartisan border bill that was negotiated by, again, good faith senators on both sides of the aisle that are solutions to the issues at hand and a solution that the House of Representatives had long called for and now turning its back on now that it's in front of them. But, uh, Mr. Mayor, I do want to ask you, there is in New York City, for example, in Chicago, as you know, talking to your fellow mayors, it is a crisis, a migrant crisis, yeah. trying to care for hundreds of thousands, in some cases, when you talk about New York City, migrants who come here. Are you not seeing that same impact on San Antonio? Because in many ways there is demagoguery, in many ways it is a political crisis, but it's a very real crisis yeah. to a lot of cities. There's no doubt. We, we do see local impacts. And I mentioned again, we've had 600,000 migrants come through our city of approximately 1.5 million people. Uh, San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the United States, but it will overwhelm, quickly overwhelm any community that has that many migrants come through in that short a period of time. We have had great cooperation, however, with the White House and with the Department of Homeland Security and Secretary Mayorkas on the resources needed to deal with that issue in light of congressional inaction. And so we've worked quite well. We've, we've had a migrant resource center uh, in order to uh, do really three things, which is to maintain order, protect public safety, and treat people who come through uh, our city with some basic dignity and compassion, which every human being deserves. And so, um, you know, we can't control here in the local communities, whether we're San Antonio or Chicago or New York, who actually comes across the border. Those are uh, the domain of the federal government. But what we can do is deal with the impacts. And we've had great cooperation with the federal government in that regard. And I will say this, in the national security bill that currently is sitting at the feet of Mike Johnson, there were, uh, there were the resources necessary to deal with those local impacts. And those local impacts will not stop uh, if there are no solutions from a policy, legislative per policy perspective at the border. So uh, not only are they holding local communities at the border hostage, they're holding every other city in the, in the nation that's dealing with the immigration issue locally hostage as well with these um, inane politics. Mayor, what would you change about the bipartisan bill that, that Congress has not passed yet? or would you support just going forward with it in its current incarnation? Uh, I and, and many of my peer mayors on both sides of the aisle support this bipartisan border bill. It's not perfect. Many people, uh, including myself, would like to see other 
elements to it. It's not, uh, it stops short of being comprehensive, but this is a, a, the biggest step on modernizing our current immigration system that has happened in the last 30 years. And so it is definitely worthy of consideration and debate and passage uh, from a local community's perspective. But, you know, dealing with, with the dreamers, um, you know, accelerating work permits uh, to, to a greater extent, those are things that we should negotiate. But this bipartisan border deal that was worked out again in good faith with President Biden and a bipartisan group of Republican and Democratic mayors, uh, excuse me, uh, senators, is worthy of passage and we fully support it. San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg, who will be meeting with the president along the border today. We appreciate you stopping through with us this morning. Thank you very much.